her J name, and he's younger. Um, and I think he's over here with one of you guys. Have any of you guys lost a Jackson or Jeff? Um, he's younger. I, I keep thinking he's over with you. It, yeah, and he was killed when he was younger. Okay. Um, okay. It, it, your mom's not here today, is she? No. I would just let her know that she's that he is sending a message to her. I don't know if he's, she's been thinking about him lately, um, but just mention that because he's communicating. There's somebody else too, Jason or Jerry. Who's got Jerry? Now I know, you got Jerry. Okay, who else has Jerry? There's another one over there. I have a son named Jason. You have a son named Jason? Okay, he, he's still physically here, correct? Yeah, and this is somebody who's on the other side. Um, okay, come up and we'll talk to Jerry. Jerry, oh no, no, there's somebody who's on the other side. You, who's fast? Okay, get up here because it's Jerry. And then who do you have? James. No, it's not him, it's Jerry. Yeah. And your father is fast too, is that yes. correct? Yeah, okay, so Jerry's just the door, the doorman for your dad. Oh, okay. Which is nice. But again, it's the same message as before. Um, one thing your dad is saying is that, okay, your dad says sometimes you put all your eggs in one basket. And, and for you to know that you've got lots of angels is important for you so that you don't get caught so much in the black and white. It's now or never. It's this way or that way. It's right or wrong. Your dad says there's so many different ways that you can take care of yourself that you can feel connected and that you can realize that you're always surrounded by angels. He just wants you to avail yourself to all of them. So not only does he send you music, but he sends you animals and you see him sometimes in dreams. It's just you're always connected to him mm -hmm. in so many different ways and he wants you to know that and to confirm that for you. So if you think it's a sign from him, he says, yeah, it's a sign from me. <laughs> He'll take credit for all of it. Um, there's a like a crawl space or going underneath a house that he's uh -huh. mentioning and he's talking about that. Did you take his house after he passed or was there an issue with settling his house? Um, I am I am refurbishing a house that they had bought and put on our farm. Yes, yes. And we're having trouble under the house. Under the right house. Now. And that's what he's acknowledging. He says Okay, well you know that movie The Money Pit? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> He thinks this is a money pit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but sounds like it, it, he does. Because your dad has a very practical approach to it. Just don't put so much into it that you can't get back okay. what you're putting into it. Okay. So he says conservative. Just be very, very conservative. Okay. Um, there's a Carl or Charles who's with your dad too, who he's recognizing. Someone who's already there in heaven with him. So he's recognizing that. This house thing and the land and the property, he says that is a lot, so just do a little. He, he's okay. truly so serious about you not over-investing yourself in that. Okay. Because it could get out of control really quick. So he says just be very slow with it. Um, We're being slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it ourselves. And that's what, but even, yeah, he's just encouraging that's the right thing to do. Okay. There's no time constraint. There's no, just be very, very patient. deliberate and very patient with it. For sure. Um, there's a, like a mine too, or drilling down. The um, well. The well, yeah, that's exactly what it is money pit <laughs> yeah he says again just be real slow with it um it's a process mm -hmm. it really is was there is there like he shows me two acres and it's specifically that amount that's right. are there two acres mm -hmm. on the okay so he's just mentioning that the exact amount so you know that's what he's talking about there's also like a i see like these um, pine trees it reminds me kind of of like a christmas tree farm i don't know if there's an area where it's heavily forested or if there's a lot of pine trees growing on on the land right behind us mm -hmm. there are a lot of um uh, the they look like pine, pine trees, trees but they're yeah. not right they're, i can't think of the name of them cedars yes okay so that may be he says just keep that in the back of your mind because there may be a chance to uh, you do, do something, something with, with that it. yep Yep, so do hang on to that. He says that's a little gold mine. 
Um, just to, okay. So just to kind of keep it there, keep that in close watch. Um, he also tells me an owl. He wants me to talk to you about an owl and that that's a sign that he sends you or that's something that you can think of when okay. you see an owl, that would be from him. Um, there's also a, like these wild roses or these climbing roses that yes. he's talking about that he's connected with. So he's, he's around all the time. He's very, your father is such a beautiful and strong spirit. Like just making sure his family is grounded and sheltered and clothed and provided for. That's his, that's his that's soul's his purpose. It is, it is. And he says, he says, I'm not earth bound, but I'm heart bound. And he's always with you. That's beautiful. It is. Yeah, that's where he's always at. So wherever you are, he's there too. And especially when it's the home and the land. Someone had a mail route, or he's telling me about being like a delivery man or a mailman. He used to deliver on a bicycle yeah. when he was going to school. Yeah. See, and now he says in heaven he's a messenger for hope and for, he's just really always bringing good news. He's very, very encouraging and very supportive. Um, and he believes, and I know he taught you this, he says any dream can come true, but it's not magic, it's work that makes it happen. Oh, and he him. says that's what, your, that's what your family is living and that's how he taught you. Um, there's a Chris or Ken who's with him too or who's connected with your family. Um, he's got a young, there's a young man who's with him on the other side who to me looks like a brother or cousin or someone like that okay. who would have passed before you were born. So your dad says it, in heaven he's got to see all the old faces and it's just been really wonderful for him. Um, he's telling me about like taking crust off of bread. Um, I don't know if you were fixing lunches not too long ago and you had to take crust or if somebody would never eat crust on their bread. Hmm. I don't know that one. I'll have to think about Were you that throwing uh, bread out for birds not too long ago? Oh, I, yeah. Yes, yes, because it had gotten too hard or something. Uh -huh. That's what it is, yeah, where you're like breaking it up and yep, he was there when you were taking care of the birds. Actually, I think it might have been fish. Oh, well, feeding the animals. Feeding the yeah. animals. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, feeding them the, the old bread that had gotten too hard. Yeah. He's always around, always, always. There's a, in September, he's talking about September, there's some changes in the family or something that's coming up. Um, there's a T who's here, like Tyler. Tidiana. Tidiana, yes, he's sending blessings to her too and saying that that's been a situation where you've put your love and your love will make a huge difference. There's also a lady who's here like Carmi or Carrie um, or Cassie, somebody who's still physically here, who's a younger person connected to the family. Um, Kata? Kata, yeah, that's exactly Kata. who it is. Kata, he says to send his love to her. Um, somebody had to have a hearing test or something with a hearing. Were you, did you have a lot of ear infections when you were little? Was it me? Was there someone else in the family who did? My husband has hearing issues. He, oh, okay, well, are you sure? <laughs> or does he just ignore? No, he, no, I he know. really does. I know, your dad says he does. He, has, he struggles with that, but your dad says he really loves your husband and wants to send blessings to him. That he's a very, very good man. Now his mom, so your mother-in-law is on the other side too, correct? No, she's here. She's here. Has your mom passed? His in? dad has. His dad. There's an older lady who's with him though who knows you too. Oh, wow. Give me a minute. There's an Esther or Evelyn um, or Helen who's connected with your families too. Either his or yours. Um, here's what I'll tell you again from your dad and then from his dad too. Um, oh yeah, now I got his dad really strong. Um, so from your husband's father, he says to tell him that everything in life is a choice. Being happy is a choice. Um, being calm is a choice. Being relaxed is a choice. But he really wants him to, to lighten up on some things and to okay. let go of some of his old habits. Okay. Um, you know that expression, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Mm -hmm. He says that your, your old dog needs to learn some new tricks because your husband's been like chasing his tail lately and he wants him to feel inspired to learn something new. Um, I don't know if your husband had been having trouble with his knees lately or he'd been having some stress. That was me. You did, okay, yeah. I've had them both replaced. Okay, okay. That's, that's over and done with. I mean, and I see that being right. really healed. But your dad says, <coughs> you've got to give yourself a chance to rest and work and, and play and be serious. It's balance. And he says that's one thing you've struggled with is balance. Mm -hmm. But he wants you to know that he's your angelic coach in, in finding a balance in your life and will okay. always support you in that.
Um, your father-in-law has a thing with cows, so you might ask your husband if they did they have cows when he was they growing did, up or when a farm. He was growing up. Yeah, yeah. Just tell your husband your da his dad was remembering the cows and all the hard work. Um, but he says again, he's proud of his son and he loves him, and he's watching over his wife, your mother-in-law too, and says he just sends blessings to her. And you do such a good job caring for her. There's a Glenda um, or Julie. I think it's a J name actually. Who's here? So do you have a Georgia or Janie? Um, mm. And you'll think of who it is if you don't. I, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll your dad is it's somebody who's connected with your family. And she may be kind of helping you out with the house. or. Um, but anyway, he says you've got so much support around you. That's why you can have balance. Because you've got people who can lift when you want to take a break. You just take advantage of that. Um, someone else had a thyroid issue too that your dad is showing me. Um, so there was either a low thyroid or someone had some problems with that. And he me. Said, yeah, he says, you just, it's okay now. Yeah, it is, but it's again about balance. Mm -hmm. You gotta find that balance where you take care of things and then you rest, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, he's with you. He says, <laughs> now he's changing his tune. Cause before he said, you need to know you have all the angels. And now he says, ah, she's the only angel I need. <laughs> he's the one stop shop. But yes, just let your family know that he's with them. Communicate to your husband from his family um, and just know how loved you are. Thank you. You're welcome. It's great to talk with you. There you go.